building block here we are going to discuss about the agreement problem that is the subject to work rules for english grammar the rule 1 rule 1 is that is to make a verb agree in number with its subject that is make a pronoun agree in with numbers it antecedent for example if i say the list of spare parts was left that is singular and if i say the list of spare parts were long that is plural so list if i say l i s t s so the verb is were and if i say l i s t so the verb is singular that is was so singular subject takes singular verb that is list was and this were and plural subject takes plural verb other example like if i say even an animal has its own territory singular even animals have their own territory so animal with animal the verb which i have used is its with animal the verb which i have used is its and with animals it is there so singular antecedent are referred to by singular pronoun that is animal its and animals there there is one exception that a plural verb is always required after you even when it is used in singular referring to one example for example you were very helpful during my stay with you now coming to the second rule that is rule number 2 ensure the verb agrees with the true subject and not with an intervening plural object it agrees with the subject and not with the object of a preposition or any other intervening plural for example if i say the box of nestle's chocolates is missing nestle's chocolates the verb i used is is now here the true subject is box i repeat my sentence the box of nestle's chocolate the box here the subject is box you're talking about the box and not nestle's chocolate so chocolate is the object of preposition of so it agree with the box which is singular so the verb is also singular rule number 3 subject joined by and are usually plural and take plural verb and his typewriter and my radio were stolen so were plural because it is joined by and and you are talking about two subject so the verb will also be plural rule number 4 that is words like with together with along with as well as addition to as you can as i've said earlier in the previous rule that is rule number three that whenever you use the and there will be two objects and if you have two objects the word will also be plural now coming to the another rule that is rule number four that if in a sentence you have a word with together with along with as well as or addition to in that case it does not affect the number of verb if the subject is singular a singular verb is required if plural a verb will be plural now how to agree there are two there will be a two subject in front of you that will be before the word which i've written and one after the word now with whom the verb will agree like i've said if the verb if the subject is plural the verb will be plural and if the subject is singular the verb will be singular it will agree with the first it agree with the first subject for example the television along with the cabinet is to be sold now here the television along with the cabinet both are singular so the verb is also singular that is is to be sold next example mrs paul with her son and daughter is gone to the theater this evening mrs paul singular with her son and daughter son and daughter the other subject is plural but the verb which i have taken that is singular is going to the theater this evening so here it gets clear that the verb agrees with the first subject coming to the next rule that is rule number five if the subject is made up of both singular and plural words connected to or connected to nor either or neither nor 
not only but also the verb dig the verb degrees with the nearer part of the subject now no need to get confused between rule number 4 and 5 because it's very clear in rule number 4 that whenever you use wait together with a noun with as well as or addition to the verb agrees with the first subject now we are coming to the next rule rule number 5 if you use or nor either or neither nor or not only but also the verb agrees to the nearest one nearest one mean the verb the subject which is nearest to the word or to the word nor to the word either of it it agrees with the nearest one. For example, neither the quality nor the prices have changed. So, prices is the second uh, uh, prices. Prices is the second subject I said, and quality was the first subject. I would like to repeat my sentence. That is, neither the quality nor the prices have changed. Prices have verb agree with the nearest one and not the first subject. Coming to the other rule that is rule number six. If the subject consists of two singular words connected by or neither nor either or the subject is singular and requires a singular verb. Even if you use the above thing and both the subject both subject are singular then the verb will be Singular. For example, neither our accounts department nor our head office has. I repeat, neither our accounts department singular nor our head office singular has a record of the transaction. Has is singular again because the two subjects which you have used is singular. Coming to rule number, noun that are plural in form but singular in meaning such as news, measles, numbs. Physics, electronics, tactics, economics, and so on usually take singular subject. Okay, I repeat now that are plural in form. Plural in form but mean singular. So the verb will be singular. For example, news is traveling faster than ever before. News is singular. Now, next rule, rule number 8, that is, a linking verb usually agrees with the subject, not with its complement, not with complement. And it usually agrees with the, this is one of the rules in which people, they usually get confused. For example, excessive absences were the reason of his failure. The reason of his failure was excessive absence. I repeat my first sentence that is excessive absences, plural, were the reason for the failure. Now, the reason of, the, of his failure was excessive absence. So, here it is agreeing with the subject and not with the complement that is being. Rule number nine, that is plural verbs are required for many nouns that have no singular form, such as proceeds. Goods, ashes, remains, premises, credentials, etc. So plural verbs are required to many nouns which have no singular form. For example, the proceeds of the magic show are to be given to the fund for soldiers' welfare. Second example, the goods are being dispatched today by Goods twin. Talking about collective noun, a collective noun is a word that represents a group of person, animals or thing. Example, audience, committee, company, council, army, police, society, board, department, cabinet, etc. The following rules govern the form of the word to be used with a collective noun. Coming to the next rule, that is rule number 10. When a group acts as a unit, the verb should be singular act as a unit. For an example, the committee has, committee, a group of people, you are not talking about the group, you are, you are talking about the group but not the individuals of the group. So the committee has agreed to submit its report on Friday. Second example, the board of directors meets, singular, meets once in a month and the majority has made its 
diffusion.